Hey guys, it's Matt here from the Bull Call, and today we had a phenomenal day on Lucid Motors here. So let's get right into it. I'm not gonna hold anything back. We are up 30 something percent today. Uh, we closed exactly 31 percent up, and we are going to get right into it. So here on uh, Google Finance, you can see we had this massive rally here today. Uh, we opened, we closed yesterday, and we had a high of 43 percent higher today which is insane guys we were up to 3867 roughly and uh well roughly at uh, about 39 we, we pretty much crashed right 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 when we hit 39 uh not crashed but we lost roughly you know a few percentages you know only about 10 10 percent uh by the end of the day uh but you know so we had a really really great day and uh the reason this was actually happening is because of this uh this is a cnbc article saying that uh, right here as the title uh, the the lucid was actually able to deliver their first vehicle which is fantastic news and that really just sent the stock soaring today as um peter uh, the ceo of the company was on uh cnbc earlier today uh, explaining and uh, just showing off how production is uh starting and well we really have to see if this thing can really take off like uh tesla did and start really uh, manufacturing and production uh, production it's very hard it's not easy that's what T elon musk said is the hardest part is not the uh startup of the company or anything like that or even uh, where they at where they're at right now he said the hardest part of uh owning tesla was exactly where lucid is right now in the production stage because you have to get your name out there and you really have to uh produce a lot and when you don't have a lot of funds coming in you're running a lot of debt and when you're running on so much debt it's really really hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel and really keep pushing forward to uh really make more and more vehicles it's it's just a very uh, hard process to really get over and elon musk said that is the one of the hardest things and he would not really want to do that ever again uh but uh let's just take a look at the uh sticks here today on the five minute charts here on weeble uh like always uh lucid is right here in the middle and we had a very fantastic day, uh, day today just nothing but green you know everything up was like up a percent or more a few red candles and then we finally hit this top of 39.78 and kind of just spilt down after that calls were up more than a thousand percent on some that were expiring tomorrow uh friday november 29th so if you had calls on lucid your uh golden today uh if you sold anywhere here even right now like if you sold right at the end of the day you would still be up massively uh, compared to yesterday and we'll, we'll we will take a look at trading view because I uh, I just want to show you guys what I saw right here and when you look at trading view we can see uh, we are here right we are right now we are right here uh, I made a video saying we might hit 30 in the the coming you know days and we absolutely annihilated uh, this uh, hard uh this area we could not really break uh we just had so much resistance here and we needed this massive spike of just volume and everything we had five million and four million a lot of a lot of volume to spike us over uh this was pretty much a lot of pre-market action this first candle right here and this one really uh, we were having lots of trouble to break this 28 dollar level annihilated that we kept on just going through 29 and just annihilated that one we had 30 this 31 ish area which i just added right now we annihilated through that and now we are having a little bit of tr uh, trouble trying to get past this 35 which uh, goes back to where it kind of held after it spilt off of this uh high that we hit when uh, there was a lot of speculation of this uh, merger if you guys are liking the video so far a like on the video and a subscribe to the channel would help immensely so let's get right back into the video now when you look at this we are looking really really bullish but obviously it's not always great to spike uh on i mean obviously we're spiking on good things which is news i, I really like to see news uh spiking us rather than uh trading which is fantastic it's not like we're going to see a short squeeze and that this company's done for uh we're seeing a lot of traders uh pile into this one because they're thinking that this could be the next tesla which i personally think that is a very very probable thesis and i i have, I have a feeling that this one really can can go far 
And even if it uh, only goes, you know, up to $100, I mean, you're still making a, a huge profit if you were in where I was, which is around the $17, $18 level. Uh, I want to buy more, so if this does drop below this $25 level, I will buy more. I'm not saying I wanted to, but as of right now, I just can't uh, fathom buying up at this high area. Uh, I like to buy down here at this 20 I mean, I prefer anything under the t under 20 so like here, I doubled down my position, which was really good because now uh, we are, you know, spiking up here. And uh, I pretty much said, uh, when you see a golden cross, for me personally, I've seen this tons of times. It's not the goal. It's not this first pump that you're going to see the golden cross activate. I see it a few weeks or a month-ish later. You will see this massive, massive green candles. And if you just buy at a green... Uh, or, or not a green a golden cross and you, or you just buy when you see a golden cross you wait a little bit for it to go down and then you buy a call it seems to have worked a lot of the times on many stocks that i have seen i've seen another one here auph uh we had a golden cross right here you know it dipped down and then just annihilated uh because of rumors of buyout like i've been saying for months uh which is another great one uh but yeah i mean that's pretty much it for this video guys i just wanted to quickly go over how like lucid is absolutely stunning us today with returns obviously my account is up very very nicely today which is a very good sign to see uh, obviously it's annoying when you when you know you have all this extra cash that you could have bought more with but you know it's hindsight's 2020 this thing could have went down to you know 15 dollars 10 dollars before it rocketed up to 35 you never know uh, but yeah, so that's my plan. It's just to keep buying and um, yeah, uh, just you know when, when we see the, these dips uh, just you know, buy, buy a little more, buy a little more, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.